All right, we are live. How's it going, everyone? On this slightly gloomy uh, July 8th morning. I just moved the broilers, and as you can see, see that guy right there? The first thing they eat right when I move them is the clover. You can see they're all going to town. Now they're staring at me. But the first thing they do right when I move them is they go and pick all the clovers off. See, they look really crowded here because they all come to the front when I move them. See, there's a lot more space back there, but <clears throat> these guys are just over seven weeks old now. These are the roosters. You can see they're kind of brown. They are a little bit dirty because it rained all day yesterday. I mean, like, there was maybe four hours when the sun was up where it was not raining. Rained, last, rained the night before last, rained all yesterday, rained some last night. So when they get wet like that, their feathers do get a little monkey, but the first nice, clear, warm day you get, they turn white again. They groom themselves, all the water dries up. I have not moved these guys yet. These are the hens. So we'll be processing these roosters in about a week. You can see how much they poop. It's also been colder. So you can see this is where they were two days ago. This is where they were yesterday. You see how much more poop is here is because, oh, well, sorry. It was much colder yesterday. It was a high of 65. I think today is a high of 64. And that was a high of like 80 and high humidity. So they eat less when it's hot. This is when it's cold, they eat a lot more. And part of it's because this got rained on and so some of this manure has been dissolved and brought down into the soil. But they do eat quite a bit more when they are cold because they need more energy to create more body heat because more of it's being sucked away by the atmosphere. So they also drink less when it's cold so these guys will drink close to 10 gallons. They have drank close to 10 gallons over the course of a day when it was 85, 90, 95 degrees. But when it's cold like this, they might only drink six. So that fluctuates quite a bit. But I just wanted to show you guys how much they love clover. When I was, or whenever I'm in church and we do a communion, we do these little, the little plastic communion cups that kind of look like a mini shot glass <laughs> but they got grape juice in them because we're a reformed church and so whenever i move these chickens and i hear all the little clover leaves just getting getting nipped off by all these 75 chickens it reminds me of after that communion when everyone would drink from those tiny glasses and put them in the little holders in the pew and you hear like you hear all the tinkling going on all over the sanctuary like tick 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 Sounds like it's raining on the roof. This is what this reminds me of. They're kind of calmed down now. You can see all the clover in here. It's really everywhere. That's pretty much 50% of what they're going on to is clover. They just like to come, just get the leaves and they'll come up to a clover plant like this and they'll pick off every single leaf and just leave just leave the stem like that. They don't do it with all of it. They pick half a dozen, a dozen leaves off and then they call it good, but man, they love that stuff. There was a study done, so I'm told, I have not looked at this study, where they did like a side-by-side -side of chickens kept in confinement and one group was just given the normal conventional ration and the other was given the conventional ration with a fresh forage additive. 
the equivalent of like three blades of grass or something like that. I should probably look it up and read it specifically, but the ones that had those three blades of grass a day hardly got sick at all. And the group that was fed strictly conventional feed uh, did get sick more often. I don't know how much exactly, fact check me, go look it up yourself, but you got to think that those clovers, that guy's excited about the clover, that were fertilized by our chickens last year. This is ground that has been covered with chickens once so far. I got to think that it makes a difference because these guys, the first two and a half weeks they were out here on pasture, we didn't lose a single one. And we've only lost three since they've been on pasture. And you can see they started way over there. And they've come all here. Two of them have been roosters, too. So, anyway, that's it for me, guys. Just wanted to show you how much they love clover. And how I get the fizz whenever I hear all of them doing it all at once. It's, it's a really cool sound. If you haven't experienced that... I highly suggest get yourself some broilers, move them onto some fresh clover and hear all the, all the leaves getting plucked off. So that's it for me. I'm gonna go ahead and move these guys. And then those are the layers over there. I'm gonna go ahead and move these guys because I slept in this morning, which is not good. If you're a farmer, you're not supposed to sleep in. So forget I said that. All right, that's it for me guys. We'll see you on the next one and maybe I'll actually edit that video I said I that I've been saying that I'm going to edit. Maybe. We'll see. If I get the chance. Alright, we'll see you guys.